The Earth is becoming fragile. Global warming, super volcanoes, nuclear weapons can stop the party in any minute. So SpaceX is trying to make humans multi-planet tree species by building self-sustaining colony on Mars. In other words, if a flash card relies on a laptop in order to stay working, then your photo album isn't really backed up. The whole point of the flash card is to save the day if laptop permanently crashes. So Elon Musk is planning to build 1 million human colony on Mars. 1 million is a huge number. It's the half of the population of Latvia. How is that even possible? The last time the US Congress checked with NASA, the cost to send 5-person crew to Mars was about $50 billion, $10 billion per one person. Elon Musk thinks it needs to cost $500,000 per one person, one 20,000 times of the current cost. Well, that's like looking at the car industry and saying, right now, a new Honda Civic costs around $20,000. To make this viable industry, we need to get the cost of a new car down to $1. That sounds very insane. Well, another example. If a plane would fly only once and we throw them away, then a plane ticket would cost $1.5 million. Space travel is expensive as long as we land rockets crashing into the ocean. Reusability of rockets cuts the price of space travel down to 100 or even 1000 times. Breaking all these problems with the costs and all the barriers, SpaceX is building new generation rocket, the BFR. The Big Falcon Rocket. The BFR is monstrously big. At 106 meter tall, it's the height of a 40-story skyscraper. It's more than three times the mass and generates over three times the thrust of the biggest human space transport ever made. And that is Saturn V, NASA's rocket that was used in the Apollo missions. When it comes to cost per launch, Saturn V costs around $1.16 billion per single launch, and you use it only once. Boom, and the rocket is gone. Comparing to BFR, it costs only $7 million per launch. And still, rocket is there, just like commercial airplanes, reusable. The BFR is so huge and powerful, even SpaceX's current golden nugget Falcon 9 will be able to take 4 tons of payload to Mars. And the Falcon Heavy, as of 2018, the most powerful rocket is about to take 17 tons of payload to Mars. And according to Elon Musk, BFR is going to make 150 tons of payload to Mars at first. However, it's expendable, and eventually it will take a thousand tons of payload to Mars. The ridiculousness of that statistic that the behemoth Falcon Heavy can only manage a little over 1% of the BFR's ultimate Mars payload is pretty hard to digest. As the rocket is separated into two parts, booster and spaceship, booster is a part where it literally boosts out the spaceship into space. BFR booster is 25 story high, it will be the biggest booster of all time, by far, both by physical shape and even more by thrust. The current the most powerful rocket, Falcon Heavy, has 27 Merlin engines. The BFR sits atop a different kind of engine, the Raptor. SpaceX has made the Raptor engine over 3 times more powerful than a Merlin engine. A single Raptor engine can produce 310 tons of thrust or lift up stack of 172 cars or an entire Boeing 747 into the sky. That's what one Raptor can do. And the BFR has 38 of them. Altogether, that's unheard of 11,780 tons of thrust. That's enough to push more than 6,500 cars or 45 large airplanes up to space. And the rocket's next part is spaceship. The spaceship is what will take people and cargo to Mars. The spaceship is 48 meters tall. It's the size of a 16-story building and 9 meters wide. In addition to hundreds and eventually thousands tons of cargo, the spaceship will be able to carry as many as 100 people at the beginning. And according to Elon, that number could grow to 200 and even above 300 people over time, just like cruise ship. When Earth and Mars are at their closest, Mars somewhere between 34 million and 60 million miles away from us. That's about 200 times farther away than the Moon. Well, Mars is more than 3 light minutes away. And to put it into perspective how tremendous the distance 3 light minutes, Moon is just over 1 light second away from the Earth. And the distance between Earth and Moon can contain all the planets of the solar system. And BFR will cover this colossal distance in just 3 months. If everything goes according to the plan, in earlier 2024, BFR will take off from the ground and head to the Martian surface. And this is how SpaceX is disrupting the space industry. Hey everyone, if you like SpaceX, I have made pack of vector quality high resolution wallpapers of SpaceX and its rockets. 
It's available over at Patreon and you can use them at any sizes from widescreen all the way down to your iPhone. Check them out. Thanks for watching.